Hi, my name is Hannah Kraus Freeberg, and today I am going to show you a little bit about the F1000 Workspace Citation Manager. We're not going to go into too much detail here because they actually have very good help videos on their website, which you can find by going to F1000 our F1000 Workspace Guide and clicking on here we go and clicking on getting started right here at the bottom of the second page. So you're going to go to our F. So our a lot of what we're going to do today is actually on the F1000 guide. Um, the website of the guide is F1000. The friendly URL of the guide is is guides.lib.unc.edu/f1000w. Again, that's guides.lib.unc.edu/slash F1000W, and 1000 is in numerals like this. Okay, so most of their videos are really good, and so for the most part here, we're not going to reinvent the wheel. We're just going to show you a couple of unique to UNC user things. One thing you should know is that F1000 Workspace is a paid resource. You get it for free as a member of the UNC community because UNC pays F1000 Workspace. What that means is a couple of things. The first thing it means is that if you want to use it and create an account, what you should do is go to our guide and click on this F1000 workspace icon right here. The reason you want to do that is that that way you'll be using the proxy link, which tells F1000 workspace that you are a member of a university which is paid to use the citation manager. If you don't do that, what you'll end up getting is what members of the general public can get, which is a 30-day trial, and that's not what you want. The other important thing to know about F1000 Workspace, because it is a paid resource, is that when you leave UNC, you will lose full access to it. So in other words, you'll still have your account. You'll still be able to access any citations that you've already downloaded into your account, but you won't be able to add any, and you also won't be able to create your own projects, which is the F1000 Workspace term for folders. Other people can still add you to their projects, and you can participate in those, but you can't add your own. If you are planning on using your citations beyond your time at UNC, and you're going someplace where you think they don't have it, a good idea is, before you leave, is to contact your librarian and ask her to help you transfer the stuff from F1000 Workspace to another citation manager. You can contact a librarian for that reason or for anything else in this video that you're having trouble with by going to Ask Us on the HSL homepage and to me, either trying to chat if you think it's a short question or emailing via Ask a Librarian for a more involved question so that you can make an appointment to meet with somebody. So those are all important things to know. The other important thing to be aware of once you set, well, so let's back up a second. So one of the resources that you'll find here on this page is an F1000 Workspace user manual in PDF. So you can download that if you prefer not to learn from videos. Some people don't, some people like it, some people don't. Um, you can also go down a little bit further and we have registration and setup instructions. Once you've clicked, in my experience, once you've clicked on the proxy link, which again is this gray bar here, it should be pretty easy. They'll give you prompts to set up an account. It's like setting an e up an email account. But if you run into trouble, here are some setup instructions for you. The other important thing to be aware of is that if you click on the Getting Started page and go down to the bottom, you'll find a link to the online help guide, which also has your vid help videos that you should be able to watch if you want to know how to do things that we're not covering in this video. If you go up a little further, you'll find email for help, which is the help desk of F1000. They, in general, are really responsive and really answer your questions, so it's worth contacting them if you're having a problem. So those are a couple of things that are important to know about this, um, about this guide. The, the rest of it is kind of what you would expect. So a lot of the things that the videos talk about also are here on the guide. Um, the other important thing to know as a UNC user, if you go here to F1000 Workspace, this is, my, this is my references interface. 
There are a few different ways to get full text into your account. But one of them, which you'll see as a UNC user, is if you mouse over institutional access next to the citation, you'll see the little find at UNC button. If you, if you sort of mouse over it, which is not so easy to do, or if you just click on it, you will be taken to the same find at UNC interface that you might know from other databases, for example. So that's something to be aware of. Once you're no longer a UNC affiliate, I think that you no longer see that um, button. Or if you click on institutional um, institutional access, you won't get find you won't get to the find at UNC um, you won't get to the find at UNC interface. But as long as you're here, you do. Okay, so that's one thing to be aware of. Another couple of things to be aware of. One is that F1000 Workspace, like most citation managers, has a has a couple of Cite While You Write tools. It has one for Word and one for Google Docs. Both of those are very useful. In order to download them, because it's web-based, it doesn't download automatically. You have to download it right here at Tools on your account. You can also get there if you go to our guide. Um, you'll see that there are links in the second box on Getting Started that you can click on in order to download those things. There's also a desktop app. The desktop app is unlike, let's say, something like Mendeley, is not really a standalone program. The reason that it may be worth downloading is that it allows you to set a watch folder. What that means is, and usually it downloads when you download the Word plugin. So if it doesn't, um, you can come back here to the guide, and we have a separate link for it right here at the bottom on the Getting Started page. So this is the second page of the guide. But in general, it should download automatically with the Word plugin. And basically, the thing that it does is allows you to auto import PDFs, meaning you're going to select a folder. So I'll click on it. It'll be just like attaching something. Let's say I select the down, downloads folder. Any PDF that I put in that folder from then on will be synced with my F1000 account. So it can be really useful. It saves you an extra step in uploading things that you want to save. So that's the F1000 desktop app. That's pretty much all it does. The other thing to be aware of is that unlike a lot of citation managers, the Word plugin and the Google Docs add-on both allow you to search PubMed straight from their interface. So just to show you what that looks like, here is the F1000 Word plugin. If I'm writing and I click Search PubMed, I can search PubMed directly from Word. So let's say I want to look for a heart attack. It'll search and it'll find, find me a bunch of articles. I can do the same thing for Google Scholar. And I can do the same thing for F1000 Prime, which is like a which is sort of a database that UNC has access to. It'll also, of course, search your F1000 account, which is what's happening here. But it's good to be aware that you can search PubMed straight from the interface. It's not great for detailed PubMed searches because you can't use, for example, mesh terms. But if you just like you know there's an article there and you just you don't have it in your library you thought you did, that's something that that's something that is available to you. You can do that. And you can do the pretty much the exact same thing from the Google Docs add-on. If you go to the Google Docs video on their website, they will tell you how to do it. So those are pretty much all the important things that you need to know about F1000 Workspace in addition to, in addition to what the videos will tell you, which is how to, how to import things, how to put citations in. Oh, the other, the other important thing to know is that there will be a, there's a browser extension. Depending on what browser you're using, you'll see under tools, you'll see that option. So I'm using Firefox. It shows me the Firefox extension. Um, if I was using Chrome, it would show me the Chrome extension. You need to download it. When you download it, you'll see a little F up here. And this is something that I'll also show you in the videos. And that will allow you to download any of the citations that the any of the citations on a page where you are into your F1000 workspace account. So download it. We also have instructions here on it. So here's the guide to the F1000 browser extension. We have the Word plugin here. We have the Google Drive add-on. So all of this stuff is stuff that you can find here and or on the F1000 help page with the videos. Again, our guide 
URL is guides.lib.unc.edu slash F1000 workspace. Thanks a lot.